Right. Good evening, uh, Manthan, Gauri, Adarsh, Aruna, Aryan. So, uh, last class we did the literature, the language paper. We are going to discuss the literature paper today, the MCQ part. All right. So, the intro part we will do later on. Let's begin with the questions. We will do a few questions and then we will discuss about phrasal verbs. Okay. Am I audible to all? Let me know if I'm audible and the screen is visible. Good evening, everyone. All right. So we are going to start with the first question today. And as I see already 10 of you have joined, so we will just start with a little intro. Uh, my name is Reshmi Mukherjee, as you know, those who are already here, those who are new for them, my name is Reshmi Mukherjee, as the, names, as the name of the channel suggests. The website name uh, where you can find certain written materials is slotskill.com. It's still being updated. Um, is it blur video? Just let me know because I can see my internet connection is strong. Others let me know if it is clear. Uh, so, website is lotskill.com. You can find a few written materials over there which can help uh, serve your purpose, exam purpose. Telegram channel, you can join and stay tuned. That will help you uh, to um, get updates about the classes, class timings. Class timings is same only. So, sometimes that I cannot take classes. Uh, I inform over there. Why long time no see? Only two classes I could not take, no, because I was in Pondicherry. Uh, so, yes, of course, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, check the class timings before we start. As in my channel, we discuss ICSC, ISC topics, ICSC English and ISC also English topics. Okay. Uh, you will find all the descriptive, the explanatory videos in the playlist. Check that, Magenta Veris, whatever it might be, whatever your topic is. And these are the class timings. Note them down. Uh, now, at uh, this present time, we are doing live classes uh, all about questions, different sample papers that will be very helpful for your board preparation. So, Tuesday's class, Thursday's class, Saturday's class and Sunday's class timings. Check from here. Take a screenshot. Yes, of course, uh, Yash, at least what you, if you don't study now, you will not be able to score anything. So it is better you start practicing now, prepare now, uh, uh, prepare a chapter and then check the questions that I have said from that chapter. Again, come back when everything is prepared, sit with these live classes. These will, of course, help you. Okay. So uh, last but not the least, as I always tell you that you can, of course, share uh, uh, share your question uh, papers with me. Jo, jo bhi discuss nahi hote hai school mein, wo share kar sakte hai. Wo is live class mein discuss kiye jate hai. And try to send clear pictures and scanned pictures that is easier to discuss. And the PDF you are required to mail to this email ID, Reshmi Mukherjee24 at gmail ID, gmail.com, uh, not in the uh, Telegram channel, okay? I remember this many of you have sent in the telegram channel i have already misplaced them they are not available so many messages are there in telegram so remember to share it in the email id and today one more important thing that we will discuss is i will tell you about because you are asking about books see the books that i use i can tell you about that right so i will tell you about one book where i found certain um, phrasal verb as you were asking no phrasal verb kahan se prepare karna hai to aise bahut sare books hai jo bhi mere haath laga hai i can tell you about that okay so we can i will show you i i am already talking in english okay so no problem i will tell in both the languages so uh, i hope you will not have any difficulty over here and uh, the phrasal verb part uh, that you can prepare from that book whatever book you have you can prepare uh, from uh, that which, whichever book you have but i saw that there is a good table of uh, 
you know the a good table of phrasal verbs that you can just read through practice prepare mug up whatever you want to do so i will show you that also before that let us first discuss a few uh, questions okay uh read the following questions you already know i'm not reading this and wasting time first question let us see the first question uh the conflict represented in the story the little match girl exists between the conflict represented in the story the little match girl exists between uh the match girl and her work the match girl and the city um the match girl and her festivities the match girl and the society many of you are here i need and the screen is perfectly clear so i hope all of you can try and answer whatever comes to your mind tell me i will clarify your doubts this will be a complete practice of mcqs i know mayank but already two classes we missed no because i went to pondicherry wahan pe jaake thoda sa do teen class mein two classes miss ho gaya tha um so kya hi kar sakte hai abhi saraswati puja ke din mein bhi thoda sa padhai kar lete hain sirf mcq hai wo subjective wala question aaj nahi karenge theek hai ha you will find gori you will find many common questions i have seen in many papers very even in the exam hall you may think of me that acha this one was discussed by ma'am also in the class ha isa bhi ho sakta hai and you all are correct the match girl and the society most welcome yash the match girl and the society the little match girl was uh, talking about there was a conflict between match girl and society this can come as a long answer question uh, hardeep pre board ka paper discuss kar rahe hain hum pre board is what practice paper for your main board exam right so if you are practicing some other pre board paper that has come in other schools that will help you to solve the paper in the pre in your final exam right so we are discussing pre board paper of some other school so that that can help you also we are discussing yash uh, question paper school paper the match girl and the society now this can come as a, a long answer type question also okay what is the conflict if they ask you you will get the whole answer in the explanatory chapter explanation video you can take it from there okay next question geography how can i say i have no knowledge in geography you have to ask a geography teacher this i cannot help you with which of the word um, would best describe abu ben devout devout and compassionate prayerful and anxious dreamy and peaceful bold and brash see um prayerful and anxious to ye nahi hoga ekdam se cancel dreamy and peaceful ye to peaceful nahi tha thoda sa disturb ho gaye the bold and brash ye bhi nahi hoga devout and uh, number 1 option number 1 will be correct Gori Act One, uh, sorry, Act Three, Act Four, Act Five. All three scenes are coming for your exam. Anything can be asked. Hi, Ayushi Tiwari. What is the refrain used by the poet in the poem? I know why the caged bird sings. Others, I can see it very clearly. I have it open in my phone also. I think it is clear. Others, uh, uh, I think they can see. If not, let me know. Okay, refrain. Refrain used. बाय द पोएट इन द पोएम रिफ्रेन का मतलब क्या है वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिफ्रेन रिफ्रेन मीन्स वेन यू रिपीट अ लाइन ओके वेन यू आर रिपीटिंग अ लाइन वाई डू वी रिपीट समथिंग जस्ट लाइक आई एम टेलिंग यू वन टू थ्री टाइम्स नो दैट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वाला क्वेश्चन इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वट डज इट मीन वाई एम आई रिपीटिंग बिकॉज समथिंग इज इम्पॉर्टेंट वी वॉन्ट टू हाईलाइट समथिंग ओके सो हियर देर इज अ लाइन विच इज रिपीटेड इन द पोएम सो विच लाइन डू यू थिंक वॉज रिपीटेड <coughs> no problem priya later on you can watch the video finish off your work later on you watch the video now you tell me which one i know why the caged bird sings the caged bird sings with a fearful trill dot dot freedom but a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams he names the sky his own others
Read the question properly. It is very easy. I hope you remember the poem so you will be able to answer. Anybody else is trying? <coughs> very good. Uh, number B. Number B has been repeated twice. No, even at the end of the story, even, even when the poem ends, we find the same lines, right? Fearful trill wala line. So option number B is the correct one. Very good. Uh, only study. I am seeing this name first time over here. Welcome. Uh, I don't know your name, but you are of course welcome over here. The Patriot. This one is very easy. Everybody should answer. Okay. Every single words person. Not now many more papers as ah, many of my papers are left. I, I still tell you to send. I will try to finish as many possible. But bahut sara papers left hai abhi kya hi kar sakte hai. Karenge, thora thora karke. The Patriot was executed dash after he returned to his land gloriously. A year, two years, a decade soon. Who else is giving the answer? I have got a few answers. Options are a year, two years, a decade. That means 10. And soon means <coughs> very soon. No time is mentioned. So it will be option number A of course. Okay. It was just a year ago. Remember a year ago. So A. Which delicacy did Sibia crave as she possessed as sorry 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 as she passed this is past okay as she passed the market what delicacy did sibia crave crave means desire what was the delicacy that sibia desired or wanted to have as she passed the market wild honey is an option uh, candy floss is an option jaggery is an option sweet meat is an option Everybody try. If you if you don't try, there are many who are not trying. Who are just sitting and checking whether your answers are correct or not. Let me know what your answers are. I'll explain you. You will understand that. It will be a revision also. Okay. Write your answer. There is not there is nothing to be shy. No. What can you do? Study. 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 Very good. All are correct. Those who are writing the answers. Sweet meat. Not wild honey. Because wild honey to milta hi hai in logo ko. They get, they get it. Jaggery also. <coughs> Candy floss is not mentioned in the whole story. So there is no chance of that. Number 5. How old was Margaret when she first arrived on this distant planet? See this question. Those who study from my, uh, this, from my class. Okay. Uh, pro player. You can attend the class free of cost. No. Do you have to pay any money? Of course, then it is a free class. If you can join it, if you can attend the class, kaise kar rahe ho? Of course, free hai isi liye, na? How old was Margaret when she first arrived on this distant planet? No, no, no. Gursharan Singh, first check the options. This question we have already discussed. Whoever had followed will be able to answer. 5, 7, 4 or 9. Sibia. You guys ask about Sibia. What was the question? Check the question once again. The question says how old was Margaret when she first arrived on the distant planet? <coughs> this is Margaret meaning this is all summer in a day. Okay. So options are options are 4, uh, 5, 7 and 9. So all those who have written 4, their answers are correct. So this will be four years old this is slightly confusing remember it was just five years back when she came to this planet okay when she came to the planet venus okay and the other one will be of course four because they are all how many years old nine years old okay 
CBI is 12 years old. Gurusharan, Gurusharan, this part is correct, but that is CBI's answer that you get. Number six, we are doing. You should be able to qualify with your eyes closed. Who said these words and to whom? You should be able to qualify with your eyes closed. Jesse Owens, coach to Jesse Owens, Luz Long to Jesse Owens, Jesse Owens to Luz Long, Hitler to Luz Long. So everybody's answer goes for number B. Okay. Last long to Jesse Owens, of course, because see, you should be able to, this is a very simple question. No, Somebody uh, motivated him. Who motivated, of course, last long. So last long is talking only over here, number B. So that makes your answer correct. Number B. Uh, I will try to speak in both the languages. Uh, because you are learning English, you will of course have to understand English, right? So try to understand. This is a very simple English that I am talking in, okay? Uh, and then, kuch cheez mein, to Hindi mein bhi bol raha hu, right? So Hindi is not my mother tongue. So as I am adjusting sometimes in Hindi, you also try to adjust, develop the language. No, if you develop English, it will help you in the long run. Anonymous, you have asked a few questions before also. I will come to your questions, okay? Don't uh, uh, ask now because I cannot uh, take the questions now. At the end of the class, I will uh, re reply to you all your questions, okay? This this is just passing by. I cannot see it clearly even. The poem Nine Gold Medals by David Roth narrates a folk tale, a story based on a real incident, an imaginary story, the poet's own experience. Nothing to be sorry, just that abhi questions discuss kar rahe hain, to ek dam baad mein ja ke doubts discuss karenge, thik? Mixed answers coming, 7B and 7D. Uh, so 7B, a story based on a real incident, this is one option I've got. Uh, the poet's own experience is another option, right? So two options I have got. The poet's own experience we do not find in nine gold medals. In nine gold medals, what we talk about, what we know about is a story which is based on a real incident. Option number B, not D. Okay. Yash, this one I think you have done a mistake. Not a story, uh, sorry, not the poet's own experience. It will be a story based on a real incident. It was a real incident. Even I remember in one of the specimen papers I discussed ki aisa wala ek uh, kya hai matlab wo subjective question mein tha. It was one of the subjective questions uh, where you were asked ki on what real incident was this story, was this poem written. So of course you have to talk about uh, that. Okay. So uh, before we move to the next question, I'll show you one thing. See over here, I have taken a screenshot of a page. It is actually this book that I found that I was uh, uh, reading. Okay. I think you can see it. It is a complete course of ICAC English 1. Okay. Just English 1 things are there. All your uh, uh, compositions, how to write a composition, then uh, phrasal verbs, different types of phrasal verbs, whatever uh, grammar exercises you have. And you have your <coughs> how to develop language skills, the ways of writing a good essay. Okay. That you often ask me. Uh, different types of sample, um, your, um, what is it, letters, then you have your, um, uh, what is it called, uh, email notice, okay, those are all there, whatever you have in your language paper, it is there. And one more thing is, you get this, see I have taken the screenshot so that you can understand how it is written. See, it is difficult to mug up everything. Maximum one hour from the beginning, Burshan. Okay. Uh, it is very difficult to mug up everything. This I will say clearly. Good evening, Kanchan. So, uh, but one more thing is also true that if you can just brush through. See how many pages are over here? So many pages. I did not even start from the final page. See from here, there are more than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, almost uh, 12 to 13 pages. Now, it is very difficult for you to mug up everything. But ek baar brush kar sakte hai, say, par ke ja sakte hai. See, ask someone out. Matlab ki invite on a date. So, you ask somebody out means kisi ko le jana hai date ke liye, dinner ke liye, movie ke liye. Ask him out. Ask around matlab me, uska meaning alag hota hai. 
ओके लाइक आस्क मेनी पीपल द सेम क्वेश्चन आस्क अराउंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर आस्किंग फॉर अ पेन पेन के लिए पूछ रहे हैं इसके पास पेन है उसके पास नहीं है तो आपको यू विल हैव टू कीप ऑन आस्किंग यू हैव टू आस्क अराउंड ओके एड अप टू समथिंग दैट मीन्स इट्स इज नो दैट एड अप ऐसे यू आर कलेक्टिंग मनी सो दिस वन दिस वन दिस वन सबसे कलेक्ट करके 500 हंड्रेड रुपीज हुआ तो इट बिकम्स इक्वल टू एड अप टू समथिंग मतलब कि इक्वल टू इतना सारा कैलकुलेट करके इतना सम अप हुआ बैक समथिंग आप मतलब रिवर्स यू विल हैव टू बैक अप योर कार्ड ओके सो दैट सो दैट आई कैन गेट आउट सो यू हैव टू रिवर्स करना पड़ेगा बैकअप सपोर्ट का भी मीनिंग एक ही है बैकअप ओके सब वी से नो दैट वी नीड अ बैकअप मतलब कि सपोर्ट चाहिए ब्लो अप ब्लो समथिंग अप ब्रेक डाउन ब्रेक डाउन का दो मीनिंग हो सकता है okay so there are many i this is just a single page as you can see over here there are many like this <coughs> okay break in see so you can if you want to purchase you can purchase this book uh, this uh, as you know i have bought it so i can tell you from here because i have this book myself uh, this is oswal uh, dr moushumi sharma kevin james o'brien okay complete course in icc english for 9 and 10 this is uh, good for both 9 and 10 even class 11s and 12 so phrasal verbs you can use it almost everything is similar only in language so you can follow that uh, so this is what i can help you with phrasal verbs and then again you will require practice nothing there is nothing better than practicing uh, so uh, can you give some tips to do study because my mind uh, does not instead of talk the best advice that i can give you is instead of talking over here you can simply go and study that will be best okay i think you are not even studying over here you are not even paying attention to the english topics so geography ka exam hai agar yahan pe baith ke english padhoge to geography kaise hi kar loge hai na to ye chhod ke wo geography class ko matlab jo bhi subject topic hai wo padho kyunki english padh ke to geography nahi likh paoge hai na to par lo abhi to Okay, so this one is done. Let's come back to our literature part number eight. After waking up, Ben Adam saw Dash, an angel waiting for him, an angel calling his name, an angel writing something in a book of gold, an angel walking into his room. Telegram channel name. It is uh, slot skill. Uh, then a hyphen board prep. I think a uh, link you will get in the description box. You can join from there. After waking up, Ben Adam saw an angel waiting for him, an angel calling his name, an angel writing something in a book of gold, an angel walking into his room. Very good. Everybody is correct. An angel writing something in a book of gold. This is as simple as that. Okay. Next, a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company. Here, jocund company refers to the friends of the poet, the waves, the daffodils, the stars. Similar kind of question we have already discussed. अच्छा नंबर लिख दो ठीक है नाइन बोल के ऐसा लिखो नहीं तो कंफ्यूजिंग हो रहा है ऊपर का आंसर भी सी है इसका आंसर पता नहीं क्या है तो लिख दो कि नाइन है एट है क्या भी रोमन नंबर में नहीं लिखना है सिंपली यू कैन राइट नंबर नाइन Very good. Of course, daffodils. So, jocund company who gave him that amount of happiness. Of course, the daffodils, no jocund company, the company that gave him happiness. Daffodils. Rest of it was used. Why? The waves, the stars. Is ka topic kyu aaya? Kyuki daffodils ke saath compare karna tha. He had to compare the beauty of the daffodils to the waves to the stars. See, liye nine C hoga. Number ten. How did Maggie become a disabled person? How did Maggie become a disabled person? A. From birth, she was disabled. She had a fall from a window and had injured her spine. She was suffering from a dangerous disease. She had injured her leg while playing and was unable to walk. Very good. What is the answer? It is. Let me see. She had a fall from a window and had injured her spine. Of course, this was it. These are the exact words copied from the book. 
okay now we will come to number 11 while you are solving number 11 i will tell you one thing that comprehension too it becomes difficult to discuss from here you will get certain comprehensions i will upload them uh, tomorrow i think i'm going to upload one comprehension in the website okay so you can practice from there okay answers will be written later after the uh, this after the solution sorry after the questions are given so you can check from there but before that Answers मत देखो पहले सिर्फ सॉल्व करो फिर आंसर्स के साथ चेक कर लेना ओके व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थीम्स इज एक्सप्लोर्ड दैट इज आल्सो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट समबडी वाज आस्किंग सो दैट इज आल्सो फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग थीम्स इज एक्सप्लोर्ड इन बिसेनियोस चॉइस ऑफ कास्टल्स बेटर टू बी सेफ देन सॉरी एक्शन स्पीक लाउडर देन वर्ड्स वेयर देयर इज अ विल देयर इज अ वे अपीयरेंसेस कैन बी डिसेप्टिव Very good. Of course, appearances can be deceptive. Pura gold casket ka choice to isi ke upar dependent tha, right? Uh, so Yash, are you checking? How many of you, uh, how many of the answers are incorrect? Check it. It was an easy paper. From the MCQ part to I can say this is easy. Let's see subjective question mein kya aya hai. Fir pata chalega. According to the lottery of the caskets designed by Portia's father, which casket would win Portia's hand in marriage? According to the lottery of the caskets designed by Portia's father, which casket would win Portia's hand in marriage? Gold casket with a skull, silver casket with a fool's head, lead casket with Portia's image, copper casket with Portia's hanky, handkerchief. Very easy. Everybody should write. Whoever is here, there are many people over here. Share it more with your friends, okay? Dono sare saath mein bhi milke exam qualify kar sakte hai, achhe marks la sakte hai, right? Isko, is completely free of cost hai, sabko bhejo, taki saare hi achhe marks score kar sakte hai. 12, you are saying C, lead casket with Portia's image. Of course, lead casket mein hi to tha, Portia's image wohi to tha, jo, jo correct casket tha. Okay. Next, number 13, which of the following is the meaning of the word synagogue? Yaha se question dekh lo, fir next page mein jayenge. Which of the following is the meaning of the word synagogue? This word we have already got in the Merchant of Venice. Okay, you can see the options also from here. Temple, court of law, Jewish place of worship and house. Uh, Gurusharan is saying A and C. So, temple and Jewish place of worship. See, temple is a place of worship. But synagogue, mein, who was who was telling uh, somebody to go to the synagogue? Shylock. No? So, Shylock is a Jew. So, Jewish place of worship is the right answer. In particular, we have to mention that because it is given in the option. No? If there was no other option, we would have said a place of worship or just a temple. Meet me at the synagogue. Yes, that was the line. Next, number 14. Which of the following characters can be described as quick-witted, daring and loyal? This kind of question is uh, first I am seeing over here only, but this is a common question, not common question, but it may come. Okay? This is an interesting thing. You have to be aware of the whole topic. Okay? So, quick-witted, con hai, daring, loyal, yes, sare qualities kis ke saath match hota hai? Nerissa ke saath, Jessica ke saath, Portia, uh, Lee. 14 B B B. Neeraj has said, uh, Raj has said, Kailash has said, uh, rest of you are saying C. Hmm, you all have deleted. Ayush is saying 14 B. Then Nerissa. Nerissa to, ye to main character nahi hai, jahan Jessica, Portia, Lee. Lee was Shylock's wife. So, she, we don't have any mention of this person at all. Like only one place, right? So, we don't know whether she was quick-witted, daring and loyal. We don't know that. Okay. Portia, let's come later. Now, Jessica. Jessica was not loyal, no? Was, was she loyal to his, uh, to her uh, father? No. So, Jessica ko cancel karte hai. Okay. Next, Nerissa and Portia. Nerissa, we know that she is, she is very wise. 
she uh, supports Portia a lot. But all these plans, programs and everything, all of this is whose? Portia's? No, not Nerissa's. Nerissa just follows Portia. So, who is the, what is the correct answer? It is Portia. Yes, she eloped. We, we, can, we cannot even say that she was loyal to uh, uh, this person. No, what is the name of that person? Lorenzo. Because they were just married. We don't know later on what would happen. But father ke saath to kab ka relation hai, wo bhi chhod ke ja To loyal to nahi bol sakte Jessica ko. Monarchy. Monar Konsa wala answer? If it was monarchy, then the answer would be temple, right? Monarchy matlab to raja ka rule jaha pe hota hai, where the king rules. <clears throat> what special deed of gift does Jessica give to Lorenzo at the end of the play? What special deed of gift does Jessica give to Lorenzo at the end of the play? All right, Neeraj. Option number C. So, uh, 15, tell me, special deed of gift kya diya tha? News that Shylock had forgiven Jessica and Lorenzo for eloping. The bond signed by Shylock making Lorenzo heir to all his wealth. The 3,000 ducats that Antonio owed to Shylock. Or the news that Shylock had agreed to become a Christian. I have got mixed answers. Mostly B, but A also I have got. Did I get? Ah, Aryan, that is not monarchy. That is a monastery. Okay, monarchy means where Raja rule. Karte hai. Jaise agar main Raja hoon aur ye, aise Raj Tantra jisko bolte hai na, that is monarchy. Okay. Uh, that what you are talking about is a monastery. Monastery is a place of worship. Okay. Which one? What news did? I think question should be what news Portia did. No, no, no. Deed of gift. MKS deed of gift. Matlab jo will, will tha. Uske baare mein puch rahe. Correct. 15B. The bond signed by. Matlab question ka meaning kya hai? Jo special will. Kisi ne likha. Matlab Shylock jo will likha. Ha, usme kya tha that does give Jessica. Give to Lorenzo at the end of the play. Wo deed of gift kya tha? That was. Bond signed by Shylock, which said that Lorenzo would be the heir to all his wealth. So that will, of course, make Lorenzo very happy, no? It was very special for uh, Lorenzo, right? Clear now? 15? Ha ha, correct, 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 very good. This is not Jessica. Typing mistake, I, I think. It was just a small mistake. This will be Nerissa, not Jessica. Okay, Nerissa. Next, number 16. <coughs> what does Lorenzo think of people who don't like music? What does Lorenzo think of people who do not like music? He has no opinion. They deserve cruelties. They are clever. They are music. Now, this question, I believe this could be uh, modified a bit. This is not quite a perfect question according to the material. Uh, No, Nerissa actually brought it. No, Nerissa was the person who uh, did all the clerical work, right? Assigning the deed and all. So, we can take it as Nerissa. He has no opinion. Number Papu Shahu has said 16A. He has no, no, he has opinion, no, about the people who do not like music. Remember, there is a big paragraph where he says ki, uh, there are people who, you know, all people are highly influenced by music. Even animals are influenced by music. Again, aise bhi log hote hain, jo do teen log hote hain, jisko music influence nahi karta hai. Who are not influenced by music. What are, who are these kind of people? Who are very, you know, they are evil, they are cruel inside. They always, you know, treacherously plan, plot against others. Thik hai na? So, iska answer kya hoga? Uh, Gursharan is saying they are clever. Uh, that's why I'm saying, see over here we have, uh, we can say it will be option number B only. But this question, I think this one you will not get in your exam. This could be slightly modified. Maha pe ye bola gaya tha ki, ye jo log hote hai, ye baut treacherous hote hai. They don't deserve cruelty. Aisa koi likha, kahi pe likha nahi tha. Lorenzo did not say this particular line. He said that these people are cruel. These are people are evil. They plan and plot against each other. They are treacherous. Lekin isme aur koi better option nahi hai, to yehi choose karenge. 
खराब लोग हैं तो ये डिजर्व क्रूएल्टी वाल्थजर इज फ्रॉम वधुआ रोम हाउ डू वी नो वाल्थजर इज वन ऑफ द फेथफुल सर्वेंट्स ऑफ दिस पर्सन पोर्शिया ओके एंड वाल्थजर वाज सेंट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन बेलारियो हु लिव्ड इन पादुआ ओके बाय पोर्शिया मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट इज ऑप्शन यस मोस्ट अप्रोप्रिएट वाला चूज करेंगे नीड मोर एमसीक्यू लिटरेचर पेपर वी आर डिस्कसिंग नो ओनली एमसीक्यूज विल नॉट हेल्प सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो करना होगा वी विल फिनिश द सब्जेक्टिव पोर्शन ऑफ दिस वन एनी थिंग एनी डाउट एनी डाउट दैट यू हैव आस्क मी नाउ ओनली आस्क मी योर डाउट टिल देन आई विल शो यू दिस थिंग अगेन दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर योर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स यू कैन डू दैट ओके सेंड इट टू दिस ई मेल आई डी दैट आई हैव शोन ओवर यूर टिल देन आई टेक गुड इवनिंग मृणाल दिस क्वेश्चन ओके अच्छा दोज हू वॉन्ट टू शेयर दर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स जस्ट राइट द ई मेल आई डी विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वॉज नॉट वन ऑफ द थ्री विशेज ऑफ पोर्शिया टू बी सिक्सटी टाइम्स बेटर दैन हर सेल्फ टू बी थाउजेंड टाइम्स मोर ब्यूटिफुल टू बी टेन थाउजेंड टाइम्स वेल्थियर टू बी हंड्रेड टाइम्स पावर वट इज पावर नंबर डी ऑप्शन इज इनकम्प्लीट हंड्रेड टाइम्स मोर पावर टाइम्स पावरफुल सी बेटर देन हर सेल्फ तो शी सेड थाउजेंड टाइम्स मोर ब्यूटिफुल ऑल्सो शी वॉन्टेड टू बी वेल्दी और ऑल्सो शी वॉन्टेड टू बी ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओवर यू टिल द एग्जाम टिल द लास्ट डे आई विल एक्सेप्ट आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू ओवर हियर द कंप्रीहेंशन पार्ट आई विल ट्राई टू डिस्कस इन द ट्राई टू सॉल्व few of them in the website okay so that you if you want you can open that also and uh, see the answers okay practice and see the answers do not forget to like share and subscribe these are the class timings just check them take a screenshot do not miss the classes uh, this preparation will help you a lot this you will know once your exams are over how helpful it was like i did not know the meaning of refrain in my exam if some other word of such type came in mcq what should we do see refrain ka matlab agar nahi samajh mein aaya to uh, kya hi kar sakte hain yahan pe to problem ho jayega lekin uh, mostly for example in comprehension if this happens ki question ka meaning agar if you cannot understand it becomes difficult to answer but in comprehension also you will get no word ka meaning synonym kya hai aisa puchhenge to uh, read the lines once again थोड़ा सा कंटेक्सचुअल मीनिंग हम लोग को समझ में आ जाता है ओके okay? थोड़ा सा पूरा एक एक बारी वो पैराग्राफ और रीड करो सो यू विल गेट एन ओवरऑल आइडिया कि व्हाट इज ट्राइंग टू हैपन व्हाट इज ट्राइंग टू से ओवर हियर यू विल गेट एन ओवरऑल आइडिया दैट विल आल्सो हेल्प यू टू चूज द मतलब इफ दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो किलिंग समबडी ऑफ कोर्स यू विल गेट अ फील ऑफ इट मतलब किलिंग का वो वाला सिनोनिम शायद पता नहीं है बट यू विल गेट अ फील ऑफ इट नो कि किसी को मारने की कोशिश हो रहा है प्लानिंग प्लॉटिंग चल रहा है यू गेट एन आइडिया Gosharan does not like my class at all. When will the class end? Why are you so uh, excited about my finishing the class? Class is over. MCQs we have already discussed. So now, if you have any doubts, you can ask. Um, this is the Telegram channel. Now many of them can join. Uh, what happened? Good night, Kailash. Uh, Telegram group you cannot find. See. you will find the telegram link over there many of them can could join now so there is no issue i believe ma'am with what with did what tense verb should we use what tense verb acha did with did what happens acha let's take a verb eat okay so did do does all these words we'll take verbs the first one okay and if you are using perfect इट इज वेरी सिंपल ऐसे थ्री ब्लॉक्स होते हैं ना एक प्रेजेंट का एक पास्ट का एक पार्टिसिपल का तो मतलब ईट एट ईटन तो ये जो पार्टिसिपल का ब्लॉक है ईटन वाला ब्लॉक है वो किसके साथ होना चाहिए पार्टिसिपल तो परफेक्ट के साथ होगा तो हैड वर्ड हुआ हैज वर्ड हुआ हेल्पिंग वर्ब अगर हैव हुआ हैज हैव हैड ये सारे वर्ड्स के साथ पार्टिसिपल वाला मतलब वर्ब के थर्ड फॉर्म यूज करेंगे और डू डज डेड इन लोगों के साथ वर्ब का फर्स्ट फॉर्म ओके Unable to join Telegram channel. It's very strange because many of them could join. Try once again. The drama part was very easy, but the prose part is tricky in this paper. Okay, let's see. 
many cases where a line has two figures of speeches in both comes in option then that will generally not happen if still it happens either it will be underlined ki yahi particular word mein kaun sa figure of speech diya gaya hai to aisa wala hua to choose karo kaun sa hai aur um, like 10000 saw i at a glance to 10000 underlined kiya hai hyperbole hoga okay so um, or one one more thing if it is not underlined also in that case both your options will be correct okay they cannot mark one incorrect Uh, so any other question i think all of them i have already discussed i have already taken today's questions if there is anything uh, if anybody can help uh, rituja and those who are asking about uh, the this thing the telegram channel problem if you can if you have any idea because i actually don't have any idea about this one uh, many people are joining that i can see but if there is an issue uh, that i don't know actually If anybody has any, it's a search in the tele search panel. Okay, you can do it, do that and check, see if it works. Okay, so um, that's all. Um, no doubts, I believe any longer. So next class, uh, you are joining at. Um, okay, don't forget that uh, we are going to discuss. I am going to put some comprehension also in the website slotskill dot com. You can Google search it and get it. Okay, just write slotskill dot com and you will go to the page and you can search the uh, topic. Okay. these are the class timings so next class will be on saturday 9:45 we will do the subjective part of this paper okay that's all bye bye everyone good night thank you so much raj aryan all right gosharan okay bye bye i am logging out okay good night